come on now. Says this playground is for two to five year old kids. Good morning. So today we are at Little Mulberry Park. Um, it's a free park, which is great. They have a lot of hiking trails, equestrian trails, and uh, there's a lot of paved trails too, so it's kind of perfect for everybody. Um, today, so I'm right here, I'm going to be walking on the hiking trails, and all these numbers indicate really cool things like stone structures, and there's a huge oak tree somewhere, so we're going to go walk along these trails down here and of course I picked the two that have really high elevation which means they're probably going to be um, harder but there are actually people coming you know how antisocial I am so I'm gonna cut this out and we are gonna go ahead and get started so let's get it so I do want to make a little note that it is raining a little bit um, but it is supposed to end soon so hopefully it does um, and hopefully nothing messes up on my screen or anything. But, all right. Made it to the first little marker. That is really cool, like wood markers. So I'm walking on the West Meadow Trail. It's about a mile. So it's modern, not too bad. And it's meant for foot traffic. Okay, um, let you know when I start. So right now, it's just a little before 8.30. Here, which way I want to go. All right. I'm gonna walk that way. There are people. So as I'm walking, I'm passing by, or people are passing me. Um, a lot of runners are running around out here. And first of all, you can't even see where the road goes because it dips down so far. But I, hopefully they can't hear me because it's open out here. But uh, um, there's people are running out here and it's, it's rainy, it's cold. They got short sleeves on. They're running uphill and they're talking to each other. Like, God, man, kudos to them, man. Like, I used to be, I used to run in high school, but not anymore, so they're up there. Kudos to y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna just stick to my walking and my long sleeves. All right. All right, so I made it to a map again, finally, and I made a mistake because Again, I parked down here and I wanted to go this way, but because I got so intrigued by the playground, I walked all the way over here this way. <laughs> That's okay, more walking never hurt nobody. So I am gonna go, I'm pretty sure through there is this pink one, which is Beach Tree Trail. 
it says 4.2 mile long. And then it has all these really cool markers I showed in the beginning. And I hope that these things are marked on the trail because what is it? Eventually I'm gonna to get to four over here and that's stone structures. Yes, please. And then there's another one. Number six is an oak tree. Now I'm sure that there are a lot more than one oak trees out there. So if they labeled this one, that means it's gotta be super cool. So hopefully it is. All right, so hopefully there are more maps like this out on the trail that I can kind of show you where I am. Uh, because they don't have like handheld maps, you can use your phone, which is fine, but I don't really like to pull up my phone while I'm hiking. Um, one, I'm trying to get away from society out here, except with, with you guys, that's it. Um, but two, it's raining, and I'm, it's, my phone's getting wet, and my, you know, my touch ID isn't working, and it's just a whole mess. And my hands are cold, and it's just... Anyways, hopefully there are more maps out there like this. Um, but yeah. Alright, so let's get going. We are right here, and we're traveling up this way. And we're gonna get to this green one, which is Ravine Loop. And there's supposed to be some really cool sights on this too. So, let's get started. So one of the things that I do like that I'm noticing on these little markers is that they have a number it's a help locator, so if you get lost, you can tell them exactly where you are. At Alachi, we don't have that. Um, we have like our lake loop and our bridge loop are roughly three miles long. So if you get lost, you kind of have to know where you are, which doesn't make any sense. Um, but for people to come find you. But here, if you get lost, if you see one of these locators, you just say I'm at 1268 or whatever that was back there and they know exactly where to come. So I do like that a lot. So if you guys remember, I'm walking on Beach Tree Trail. And I've, I now realize why they call it that. Because of all the beautiful beech trees. That ni nice uh, light orangey. Beech trees. They have leaves that look like this. They have these like dicot veins, which just basically means there's one main stem in the middle and it kind of branches off. So there's multiple die, two, multiple. Typically, the word for, or the prefix for multiple is poly or something, or something like that. But not this one. These are beech leaves. Look at all the pretty beech trees out there. I'm sure this place is probably gorgeous when it's more like in the fall time. It's December, um, so it's a little more wintry, even though it's like 60 degrees out here. But I'm sure once they start to get that like nice light color, it's pretty cool. almost busted my ass on that thing. <laughs> but it was worth it. All right, so we've made it to Creek Ecology. So here's a bigger map over here. All right, so basically we started down here and then myself walked the wrong way, way up over here. 
got onto this beech tree trail, went around, and now I'm on, what is this trail called? The Ravine Loop. So I walked past over here. Oh, okay, sorry. I was like number two, but that's the bridge I was on earlier, and I, there is footage of that. Anyways, I made it down here. I'm at three, which is Creek Ecology. And now I've decided I'm gonna keep on going onto the Woodlands Trail and make it all the way back around here. So I'm right here at this little intersection right there. I'm gonna keep going on this little blue trail, which is that way. So I wanna share my time. I just looked at the map earlier. And so it's been nearly exactly an hour since we were back up at the very top and I was looking at the big map and it was just before 8.30. Now, it's just before 9.30. It's only been an hour. I think I've walked pretty far. All right, let's keep going. I was recording before but if I, I don't think I was so I'm gonna do this again all right so you notice that they have a scale here it's from zero to a thousand and I'm pretty sure this is in feet I was looking at the map earlier and it doesn't seem like the proportions are correct because I filmed earlier and I made it to this connector right here and number three that was the creek ecology and now I've made it over here and when I was here, I checked the time and it was just before 9.30. And now I'm all the way down here already. And it's barely past 9.30. It didn't take me very long to get here. So if you're at Mulberry Park, this may look like it's huge, but literally, I don't even know. That's roughly under a thousand feet, which makes a lot of sense. It took me like three to four minutes to walk that far, so. It's a good thing to know. All right, well, I'm gonna keep going on the loop. If it's not taking me very long, I'm gonna do a little more than I can. Or a little more than I was planning to, because this is easy. <laughs> so we're gonna keep on going. I'm gonna go around the Woodland Trail loop and I'll make it back around to the connector. All right. One of the things that I love about rainy times is that all the mushrooms and the funguses come out so these are turkey tails. Pretty cool. Look how red they are. It's insane. Some on that log too. It's pretty cool. So I realized as I'm walking, there aren't any blazes around on the trails but that's okay because as you can see I know exactly where the trail is you know it's gonna come up here it's gonna curve to the left you know I know I can see the trail and I realized I said in the beginning of the video that there's all these random like planks of um, like signs and I thought they were very confusing so I don't understand you know why they're here but I think they're only there um, to like tell you what the help locator is. So in case you do get lost out here, um, you can call that number. That's what the planks are for. They also say what kind of trail it is. So like if it's for just foot traffic or if it's for, you can, you know, you can walk your dogs. Um, it'll say it's not a biking trail, no bikes. So it kind of just lets you know what the trail is for, I guess. Um, but it's kind of clicking now. Uh, those are really smart. The help locators are very smart. And so, I get it. <laughs> I get it now. But yeah, we're walking around um, the... Gosh, what trail am I on? I think I'm still on Woodland Trail, but I'm walking around to the Ravine Trail. And I'll keep you updated on the next map marker. Okay. I want to make a note. There's no, I'm at the next little checkpoint here, but there's no map around. Um, so I have my phone out. And so I've made it where the blue hits the green. 
Now, if I know if I go a little bit to the left here, there are those stone structures, and I totally want to see that. And then I'm just going to backtrack and walk to the right down uh, the ravine loop trail. So I'm going that way. It's not a trash can. It's a tree stump. Looks like a chair. And there was water bottles all up in there. Goodness, look. Trash. Water bottles. Come on, y'all. It's alright. Not gonna let us get it down. Not gonna let it get me down. It is starting to rain though again. I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> That's alright. That's what I love to do anyways. Come out here. Rain or shine. Let's go. Bring it on. <laughs> alright, let's take this crap and throw it away, yeah? All right, I have made it to the stone structures. Um, they're all kind of scattered out there. They say some are neatly stacked and some are not so ne neatly stacked, but they were neatly stacked at one point. Um, and at first, I, I'm i gonna be honest, I wasn't that impressed because, I don't know, I was a geology minor when I graduated, so when they talk about rocks, I get really excited. Um, but they're just like these mounds of rocks everywhere, but I was reading this, uh, what do you call this, like, this little chart thing here, and it says that, it says the precise age of these assemblies has not been determined, but they are almost certainly associated with Native American culture, cultures, sorry. It says, archaeological investigations have failed to uncover artifacts necessary to definitively attribute the mounds to a specific time frame or culture. No artifacts or human remains have been found in association with these mounds. Hence, there is much speculation as to the stone's ritual or other practical utility. Nevertheless, today we may reflect upon the considerable time and effort required to construct them. So you might, you may or may not know this, but sometimes in Native American cultures, they will stack stones on their grave. And so when you see um, little stone or, you know, just stones that are stacked up like this, it's always best to leave it alone because you never know if that's a grave or not. That's just how they did things back then. But it does say here that no human remains have been found, but there's no telling how old they are. That's what they said here, too. Um, what's it say? The precise age of these has not been determined. So there's no telling all these how long these things have been here, which is actually really cool. Um, I talk about in my previous videos that I love, like, of course I love to hike, but I also, I'm a, a hike and I stop and I observe <laughs> and kind of look and um, I love when parks and nature centers have stuff like this because I always want to learn something new. So that's really, really cool. So this is a part of a Native American um, culture. That's pretty awesome. There's some way back there. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven maybe eight right there and there's nine ten eleven twelve so this is like mysterious stone structures that's pretty cool all right awesome as i keep walking i just was down that i can still see the sign talking about the stone structures as i'm walking up there's so many of them they're everywhere there's got to be at least 20 or 30 out there. And just behind me right here, there's probably 15. So, 
it's really exciting and super cool. But like, I don't want to say unsettling because that puts a negative aspect on it, but it's just, it's crazy. Because those could be graves. I'm just walking through a graveyard right now. Of people who died probably thousands of years ago. But it's a, uh, it's very cool to uh, be able just to hike out here and learn. And I'm standing probably 30 feet from possibly somebody, <laughs> which is insane. I know it's just like a typical graveyard. Like we have cemeteries, but these people have been gone for so long, you know? All right, I'm gonna keep going. I'm just, I'm just taking it all in. It's pretty cool. Love this one right there. I don't know if you can see they're everywhere. There's one up there, there's one there. There's two over there. There's one over there. There's one, two, three. There's no telling how far they go. There's a neatly stacked one over there. It says on the, on the, I don't know what to call them, the little charts that gives you the information. Um, it says that some of them stack five to six feet tall. And I'm, I'm five seven. So, you just think, that's pretty tall. All right, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna head back. Um, Oh, no, I'm already here. All right. So I came off the woodland trail right here. And now I walked this way to go see the stone structures. And now I'm gonna walk back to the left on the ravine loop and head back to the other trail that I can't think of the name of right now. But, all right. I'm still walking by stone structures. They're everywhere. Very cool. All right, let's go. Okay, I'm back. So I made it to the next checkpoint here. Um, so I decided what I wanna do is I'm right here where somebody scratched out this little part. So I'm gonna go left, which is down there. And I'm gonna go to the overlook here. And then I'm gonna turn back around and come back this way and head to this oak tree. So got high hopes for the oak tree. Hopefully it meets up to the standards, to my expectations. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm gonna head that way, look at the overlook, and then I'm gonna come back and go that way. All right, overlook. Here, let's go.
just came back from looking at the overlook. Um, ha! That, uh, a little steep <laughs> up there. And there's some stairs. It was okay. Um, I made it back to where I was before. Now I'm walking this way. I'm gonna go see that oak tree. So let's get on it. Not waste any time. That can't be it already. The sign's just right there. Surely not. That thing's huge. Maybe an oak tree? I don't know. Look at that thing. Oh. I'll go read the sign over there in a second. <laughs> 